Buck Houghton and I would start and sit down with him, and he said, this is what I'm thinking about, this is what I'm thinking about, and I'll see you guys later. There was very little back and forth. Then Rod went off and wrote, he didn't write outlines, he wrote a first draft teleplay for the half hour film and came around and handed it to us, handed us copies. And we would read it and we, Buck and I would talk to each other and we'd talk to Rod. Rod, what about this? What about that? Can you fix this? What, you know, it, it's very good. It's a wonderful idea, but maybe it doesn't quite carry. We were very careful with Rod. And uh, sometimes he, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't discuss it, he wouldn't argue, we'd, we'd just sit and talk about it. And he'd go off and he'd come back no more than a couple of days later with a new script. Sometimes he made slight changes of the kind we were discussing. Sometimes he went off into a totally different direction, but it, the one that pleased him. And the talk with us kind of triggered him, triggered his thoughts to go in that direction. Um, so generally, I would say both Buck and I function in, in story editing capacities in that regard, but with a, with a writer who was also the principal producer of the show and the half owner of the show, and a writer who did not particularly care for detailed criticism. Overall criticism worked very, very well. Um, Rod. This isn't a surprise here, and you want it to be a surprise. It's not a surprise. We see it coming. 